Hello everyone, I'm Chase Baker and this is the Turntabler 1.0 script for Maya. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up the script and how to use it for your Maya projects. Please note that this was created in Maya Creative 2023 with Python 3. So this may not work on Maya 2020 or older. Let's get into it. All right, so when you get the script, you will then get this Turntabler underscore v1.0 underscore script underscore content folder. And so once you download this and open it up, you will see four things in this folder, the script icons, the setup tutorial, the turntable v1.0 script, and then, uh, or the you know Python compiled version and the text file of that, of the script. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna take the script icons. So what you would do is you select all of the icons right here. And you just hit, you know, control C or copy right there. And then you would go into your, uh, you know, your PC, local disk, you know, C drive or whatever drive you have it on program files, Autodesk, and then your, you know, Maya version, you then come down to the icons right here, and then you would paste it into here. And now I already have it in here, but um, you would just paste uh, these icons in there. You can open up Maya. This is just a brand new scene in Maya here. So if we go to the script editor, um, you can see, you know, this is what, you know, it looks like right here. If you do not have a Python tab, you can always click the, uh, the plus icon right here, and then it'll say source type, Mel or Python, you know, whatever. So you want, you know, you want to select the Python, but I already have it right here. And so uh, you want to go over to the, uh, to the folder again, and then you can either, you do this one or two ways. So you can either just drag and drop the P .poic script right in and it will show right up, or you could open up the text, select this entire thing or with control A, and you can then copy it and paste it right in here. It works either way. And then let's say you want this script to be um, also up in your inner shelves. So what you would do is you press Control A and you would middle mouse click and drag that up to here and then release. So then the Python icon will show up there as a script. You can then right click that, you can go to edit. And what you can do is um, to, to modify or to change the, uh, the icon, go right over here to the shelves tab right here and go to icon name and then you want to search. All right, so once you find the turntable logo right here, then you can um, select open right here. And then it'll update right there. And then that's all that. Then you see it close. So I loaded in my 2020 Honda Civic 3D model here just for an example. And so to start with the plugin, you want to um, you know, run the script right here. And so what that'll do is it'll actually automatically create a turntable master control group around. And what this will do is it'll it'll hold all of the uh, the script data within this group. And so what you want to do is it says um, set frame and range and timeline. So I have it set to from one to three hundred at let's do thirty frames per second. Let's do that three hundred or so, and that's that. So now um, let's say I want you know a three hundred sixty camera all the way around the model, right? So I can create that. It'll it'll create the camera. So I can go over here and view that camera here. And so what that'll do is it'll create a chrome ball, a gray sphere or a white sphere or whatever, and it'll have a Macbeth chart right here, just for reference. And so with that, it, it already is, you know, going around and, you know, you can see the camera moving and, you know, and that's that. Now it's pretty cool is that, you know, you can adjust, you know, left and right settings, you know, like you can just make it go either direction. You can, you can also change this obviously in the, um, you know, channel box editor, but you, know, you can do it here as well. So you do the height, the depth, if you want it to be like a certain depth or whatever, right? And then um, I'll just maybe, you know, 25, 30 or so, right? And then the arc tilt is kind of like the, the pitch or the tilt, right? So so with arc tilt, you can do like, you know, negative 20 and you can kind of be a little bit bird's eye view higher up, right? Or you can be, you know, a little bit lower or whatever, right? So that's uh, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. So I'll just keep those settings right there. Here's the quarter cam. So what this does is it kind of gives you like a front, right, back, and side kind of view, or like you know both kind of sides and you know that kind of stuff. So I can go over here and go to the um, you know the uh, the quarter cam. It'll give you the uh, you know the side and front and back views of your model. And so you can delete that camera, go right back to this one, and then you can go to a three quarter cam. This will kind of give you a little bit of a you know sort of different um, angle and uh, this one kind of gives you a little bit like that three-quarter kind of view, you know, it gives you like that the front, 
a little bit of the sides there. Use it like the, the back, you know. So it kind of give you just a di different perspective of the model as well. So you can delete that camera as well. And then you can adjust those settings also with these, you know, settings right here. And so that's that. And let's say you want a, a platform for your model, right? So you can just do a standard platform right here. And then you can, you know, obviously scale that up. You can kind of, you know, put that down a little bit. That's that right there. And so for a background, we have either the one side slope right here, or you have the bull slope. You can have them both at once, you know, whatever, but you probably want, you know, one or the other. So I'll, I'll just go with the bull slope for now. And then that will obviously, you know, change around the, uh, you know, the position of it. So I'll just, you know, lower that down right there. And then uh, for the lighting, you can have, you know, like a spotlight setup, area light setup, directional light. I'm going to go with the three areas set up and maybe a directional light as well. And so with this, I can, you know, turn on the, uh, you know, the lighting right here. And so, you know, it's all kind of real time right here. And so I can kind of do some cool stuff. And then what if you want to mess around with like the, you know, exposure. So with these, you can kind of mess around with the, uh, maybe the intensity, the exposure, that kind of stuff. Um, and you can obviously see it, you know, in, in a render, which I'll get to soon. But you can also create, you know, domes. And this was kind of made for Arnold as well, right? So you can do like an Arnold Sky Dome. You can attach a, um, you know, like an HDR. All right, so once you have attached an HDR, um, you can obviously see it in the viewport. And you can see the Chrome ball, you know, is being affected as well, obviously. And then, you know, the Macbeth chart as well. And so you can kind of do some cool, you know, viewport, I guess, you know, renders and stuff there. And then, uh, or you can do, you know, obviously a... Uh, Arnold render and for this I'll be using the GPU and so then that will load up you know and it'll render like that so you can assign your own different materials to these as well and you can just you know have fun and kind of just you know do some cool turntables of your model and you can also select you know current things like you know if you wanted to like you know just select the three area lights or just like the you know directional light if it's already been created you can just select them and you know change them around if needed um you can also you know set that up into you know the rendering settings so you can just put all your settings in you can select the full render cam right there and then you can render out like a full-on you know image sequence of it and there may be future updates you know with like more features more tools and stuff like that but um yeah i just thought you know this is just a you know cool kind of you know script to kind of help you guys uh create turntables you know for your models and different you know look dev projects and stuff like that um you know i think you know i thought this was you know just a good tool to uh you know to speed up the process so if you have any questions or comments about the script you can you know uh comment below on the uh, you know on this video um and uh yeah so you know it is available you know on gumroad and um yeah so i hope you, you know hope this really kind of you know kind of helps out speed up the process of you know turntables and thank you guys for watching